Hey guys, so I'm going to be doing a quick tutorial for you guys. It's on this eye. Um, it's like a jewel tone peacock um, look. Um, it looks a lot brighter and more out there on camera than it does in like person. So it's not that, it's not this bold. It's a lot, what's that word? Low key. Um, but yeah, I'm going to start doing this, and I hope you guys like it. So I already primed this eye with my e.l.f. eyelid primer. It's just a dollar. It's really, really good. It keeps your shadows really still. Oh, and I also primed my... I'm lying. Okay. I moisturized my face with this Trader Joe's Spa Regenerating Antioxidant Moisturizing Face Lotion. And the smell is disgusting, but it works. Um, I'll do a review on this later, if I have time. Um, but first I'm going to take the Revlon Illuminance Cream Shadow Quad. It looks like this, and it's in Precious Metals. And I'm going to take the last one, and it's the grayish silver color. And I'm just going to put that on my finger. And then put that all over my lid. And just don't go to up, way up to the brow bone with it. Because I think that'll be too much. And that's it from that quad. And then I'm, and then I'm, oh, okay. Air conditioning went on. I freaked out. So yeah, um, now I'm going to take the Urban Decay Sustainable Shadow Palettes like this. Um, with the bamboo case on it, it broke. So, yeah, I'm glad I kept it, though, so I can, like, show you guys which one it is. And I'm going to take the first one on the top. It's, like, a bronzy, silver, brown color, and it's called YDK. And I don't know what it means, so. And I'm just going to put that on my finger because I can't find my eyeshadow brush still. So I'm just going to pack that on. it's a really, really, um, shiny eyeshadow. And it doesn't have those big, chunky glitters in it, which I don't like. And, um, if you're wondering where my hair went, it's in a bun like that. So, yeah. And I'm going to be taking this out again to use another color. I'm going to put that on my bed. Um, now I'm going to take my... Elf contour brush for eyes. It looks like that's a really small eyeshadow brush. It's like dome shaped and it's very dense. It's good for going in the crease. Now I'm going to take my Glam Eyes Rimmel London single eyeshadow. I do not know what color this is, but it's like a bronzy brown color. A lot, there's no silver undertones in this, unlike the YDK eyeshadow. I'm just going to take my brush and then dab it onto the eyeshadow like that. Not getting too much. And then I'm going to go in the V. I do not know where I'm going. But yeah. And it's tough doing this without a mirror. So, I'm just going to put that in the outer V. And it's good to go like a little bit outside of your eye shape, especially if you have round eyes. It looks like it's elongating the eye, so it doesn't look so round. Yeah. So I'm just going to blend that in. Just like that. And that's it for the, that eyeshadow. Now I'm going to take the same brush. I'm going to take Glam Eyes Rimmel London Eyeshadow again in Posh Peacock. Open that up. And again, take the same brush. And then I'm going to wipe it on a little cloth I have. I'll put it on the bed. So I'm just going to dab that in there. And it doesn't have a lot of pigmentation, but it is good if you want like a lower key um, eye look. And I'm going to put that into the crease because it doesn't have as much pigmentation. And I'm putting this into the crease, not the outer V. You may, you may see a bit of color, but it's not too much. And just blend that in with the outer V color. Just like that. 
And then you're done with that one. And then you're going to take the Urban Decay Sustainable Shadows palette again. And then I'm going to go in and get more of a jewel tone color. It's called Flipside. It's right next to YDK. It's this gorgeous jewel tone turquoise color. And it doesn't have big chunks of glitter in it, which I like. And again, taking the same brush, dabbing it in there. Because this one does have a lot of pigmentation. So I'd be careful with this one. And then just tap it onto the palette to get a little bit less color. And then I'm going to go with the onto the um, the lid, but I'm going to make a little outer V. And I think I may pick up a little bit more color. Just a little bit. That's it with this palette. And then I'm just going to blend the colors together. Like all of the colors together. And I'm hoping the quality of this video is pretty good. Because um, I'm like right in front of my window and I want you to be able to see the colors. Um, now I'm going to take my Maybelline Fit Foundation in Fit Me Foundation in number 315. It has an SPF of 18. Just like that. And I use this as an under eye concealer. Um, it's not showing on the camera, but I do have pretty bad um, under eye circles. They aren't terrible, but I just don't like going out with them. And this foundation is really, really good. So I'll be doing a um, review on this. I'm not going to be putting it all over my face today because I have karate tonight. And I'm just going to sweat it off. Then it gets onto my uniform and it's hard to get off. It's disgusting when you have foundation on like the collar of it. It just does not come off. It's disgusting. Even if you wash it, no matter, no matter how many times you wash it, it won't come off. So I'm just going to dip my finger onto the rim. Get this much product and put it underneath my eye. And pat it on because you don't want to um, just put just sweep it on because it stretches out your well I don't know if it stretches out but um it just does something to the bottoms of the bags of your eyes yeah maybe it does stretch them out it makes them a lot more wink wrinkly as you get older and you will get premature wrinkles so I would just tap it on there and I wouldn't sweep it because I don't need any wrinkles yet I'll wait until I'm on 60 or 50. I don't even know when you get wrinkles, but yeah, I just don't want them for a while, and I don't want to start now, so I'm just going to tap that on. I really like it because it's pretty thick, but it's not too thick, and it doesn't make you look cakey, but yeah, it, I love it. It's awesome. And I don't set that because I don't really need it. The, it stays on for a long time, so I'm not going to worry about setting that with any type of powder. Um, now I'm going to, where's my eyelash curler, okay, I'm going to take my CoverGirl lash curler and I'm just going to curl my eyelashes on this eye, not that eye. I'm just going to squeeze it and then squeeze it five times. Then I'm going to do it again. And make sure you don't get skin that would hurt like I just did okay I'm not using a mirror so it's kind of tough okay I just got my skin and my eyes are watering okay that hurt don't do what I just did because I and use a mirror because that's really important um, today I'm using two mascaras. The first one I'm going to use is the Rim London Lash Max 3x Lash Multiplying Effects Mascara. I like this one because it, um, it does look like it multiplies your lashes, um, and it divides your lashes so it doesn't look clumpy. Um, so for me it's like a base 
for my next mascara, and then it's like a lash divider thing. So I'm just going to put that on. And I do spend mo more time on my lashes because my lashes are very thin and I don't have many. So spending time on mascara is like a big part of my makeup routine. So now I'm going to take the Maybelline New York Colossal Volume Express. Looks like that. The big yellow one. And I'm going to put that on top of my lashes. And... If you're putting on more than one mascara, make sure your eyelashes aren't dry, like totally dry after the first coat. You want it to be a little tacky so the next mascara sticks onto your eyelashes and it doesn't just brush through your, mas your eyelashes and it won't stay on if it's totally dry. Just like that. And then I'm done with my lashes. Then I'm going to take my L'Oreal Linear Intense, um, the words came off, but it's the liquid liner. And I'm just going to um, line the outer half of my eyelid. I'm not going to go all the way because my eyes are small. And I like lining the first half because it makes my eyelashes look a lot fuller than they actually are. And stay right close to the lash line as possible. like that. Not too much. Like, because for me, if I line my whole eye, my eyes will look even smaller around her, and I don't want that. I want them to look a lot bigger and more elongated. So, I do that with my lower lash line also. And then, I'm going to take my LA Colors Auto Liner. Looks like that. I got it at the dollar store. I was bored, so I went in one day, and I looked at the makeup, and I not with this. And then I'm going to line the bottom lash line as light as possible because I'm going to smudge it out. Okay. I'm only lining the lining half of my lash line. Just like that. And then I'm just going to smudge it out. And don't tug on your lashes, on your, um, the bottom of your eye because that also makes premature wrinkles under your eyes. So I just smudged it out like that. Um, and then I'm going to take, and if you're wondering what the noises are, I, I'm filming this on my nightstand. So I'm like, I put the stuff into the drawer for the tutorial, and like when I open it, it just shakes all around, so. And then I'm going to take my NYC Eyeliner Duet in You've Got the Power, and I'm just going to line the inner eye. Not too much. Just so it's more of a blue color. And then for cheeks, I'm going to take my e.l.f. angled foundation brush. It looks like this, but I use it for like brush, blush and stuff. So I'm just going to contour my cheeks. Not too much, very light one. And then I have 30 seconds. Then I'm going to take my MAC lipstick in Angel. Looks like that. Pat it on my lips. Do that. And then I'm going to take my NARS lip gloss in Turkish Delight. And I'm going to lightly gloss my lips.
and I don't have enough time, so I'm just gonna end the video now, and I hope you guys liked it. Thanks for watching.